At Yellow Crane Tower in the west, my old After friends... one night of wind and showers, how many are the following? He goes down to Yangzhou, a thousand miles from home. I'm Lonely smoke rises straight over endless river. How rare the moon, so round and clear. With cup in hand, I ask of the blue sky. Oh geese, oh geese, oh geese. Ukraine, you're next. Um, you're next. Um, our teacher just taught us this poem, Oh Geese, today. How did you forget so quickly? You mean you remember it all? Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. I remember now. You crane your necks and sing to the water your song sweet. That doesn't sound right. I remember it wasn't like that. Look at them. They all plunge their heads into the water. If not the water, to what do they sing? Oh geese, oh geese, oh geese. You crane your necks and sing to the water your song sweet. No, it definitely isn't sing to the water. It sure is. Definitely not. Oh geese, oh geese, oh geese. You crane your necks and sing to the sky your song sweet. Your white feathers float on the green water with ease. You swim through clear waters with your red webbed feet. See, what did I say? It's not sing to the water, but sing to the sky. Grandpa, the geese in the pond, most of the time they swim in the water. They're not looking up. Why did Luo Bin Wang say that they sing to the sky? In their daily lives, the geese plunge their heads into the water to forage for food. If you watch them closely, you'll find that when geese sing, they look up to the sky and their voices are loud and penetrating, as if nothing in the world can stop them. Please. This is my son Luo Bin Wang. He's quite mischievous. Can he read and write? Of course. I can read the thousand character classic. Uh huh. You ignorant kid, stop bragging. How is it bragging? It's the truth. Oh, ha ha ha. Can you compose poems? Huh. A mere child cannot master such an art. Father, let me try. In that case, why not write a poem about geese? We'll see how it goes. All right. Oh geese, oh geese, oh geese, you crane your necks and sing to the sky your song sweet. Your white feathers float on the green water with ease. You swim through clear waters with your red webbed feet. That's a really good one. Brother Luo, your son is truly exceptional. No wonder he's renowned as a child prodigy. <laughs> He's overpraised. It's just child's play. Come, food and wine are ready for you. Lo Bin Wang wrote such a poem at seven, but I can't even memorize it. Well, don't compare with the child prodigy. Yeah, he's truly a role model. But this so-called child prodigy, in the decades of his later life, achieved nothing more significant than the average Joe. So do you still admire him? That is for sure! Indeed, the geese do crane their necks and sing to the sky. Our teacher was right. Among the millions of people in this world, Luo Bin Wang was the one who wrote such romantic and meaningful verses. Exactly. Just now, the honks of the geese were so loud and piercing, like they were singing to the sky with such confidence. For all the years I've lived, I'm not as insightful as you two youngsters. I'm truly ashamed. Huh? Why did he leave so suddenly? Did I say something wrong? Yeah. It seemed like he knew a lot about Luo Bin Wang. I just wanted to ask him how Luo Bin Wang is doing now. You crane your necks and sing to the sky your song sweet. Ha 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 ha. 
Well done. Well done. Teacher, teacher. Wait for me. School's over. Why haven't you gone home to review your lessons? Have you memorized the poem that you learned today? Yes, we have. Oh, geese, oh, geese, oh, geese. You crane your necks and sing to the sky your song sweet. Your white feathers float on the green water with ease. You swim through clear waters with your red webbed feet. Well done, well done. Teacher, I want to know where the author Luo Bin Wang is now. Why do you want to know? I just really want to meet him. He's such a talented poet. Luo Bin Wang's whereabouts are unknown now. Some say he's passed away. Others say he's returned to Jiangnan. Perhaps you may have crossed paths in your travels. But you couldn't tell it was him. But I believe Luo Bin Wang must still be alive. After all, he's the one who wrote O Geese at the age of seven. He is like the white geese in the pond. Holding his head up high, singing to the sky. <laughs> that must be it.